Good afternoon, candidates. Um, thank you for joining us for our candidate orientation today. Um, we hope you had the opportunity to um, join us um, not too long ago for the amazing um, TPE virtual kickoff, um, welcoming you to um, this amazing experience that we have um, in store for you all this week. And um, now we're just going to go over some things that will help you um, throughout the time um, here um, with TPE Virtual. So um, who are we? I um, want to take the time to um, highlight um, our candidate development team. Um, again, my name is Kirby R. Gibson. I use she, her, hers pronouns, and I serve as the um, chair for the candidate development um, subcommittee. And then I'll go ahead and allow Rob to introduce himself. Hello, everyone. My name is Robert Braswell. Um, I am the Senior Associate Dean of Students at the University of North Texas, um, and I also serve as a committee member on the Candidate Development Subcommittee team for TPE. And then I also like to highlight um, Bailey Adams, who is a member of the team as well, um, unable to join us at this time, um, as well as our fantastic interns. So Hannah, Christine, Ling, and Travis, um, and we all come together to put together um, the things that we have in store for you. So I um, really want us to take the time to emphasize what our subcommittee is about. And so um, pretty much as you are navigating TPE virtual, we want to let you know that we are here to provide resources and tools to help you with your search and navigate the virtual event. And so um, we hope that you are able to land um, your job of your dreams throughout um, your time with us and participating with TPE Virtual. And we also wanna make sure that we um, help you along the way and know that you are not alone um, in this journey. So to now kind of talk about just schedule logistics um, as it was brought up in the um, welcome, just wanna highlight that all of these events that are happening um, this week are in Central Standard Time. So if you need to do some, some math to know what that means for you. Um, make sure that you do so so that you um, are tuning in at the right moments. And then um, shortly, um, Rob and I will highlight some of the specifics in relation to the candidate development area. So first I'll let Rob talk about um, our candidate solution virtual rooms. Yeah, so as, as Kirby stated, um, as a committee, we're here to really be here to support you and still provide you the same experience as if it was on site virtually. We want you to know that you're not by yourself and we're here to help you as much as possible. Um, as much assistance or support that you need, we are available um, in our candidate solution station. We're gonna have virtual rooms um, similar to um, using our Zooms and things like that um, to be available for you all on the 26th and 27th, um, which is Thursday and Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and then 1 to 3 and 5 to 7. So during those specific times, there will be someone or multiple people from the committee that are available if you have last minute questions, um, you wanna just talk through something or you just need a moment or a word of encouragement or motivation, um, we'll be there to provide that for you. Um, and then on Saturday, we'll be available from 9 to 11 a.m. and 1 to 3 p.m. And again, those times are central standard time um, because our conference or our virtual experience is still operating on that central standard time. Um, we'll also have the Chris customer service chat, which you see on the right in the screen. Um, there'll be a chat feature that's available on our website. Um, once you go to our website, you'll be able to see that and be able to ask questions and have someone from TPE committee um, respond to you and have a live conversation. Um, if that's something that you need that immediate assistance, we'll be able to provide that for you. And again, um, if you need to contact us in another way, either than our Canada Solutions Rooms or our customer service chat, we are available via email at info at theplacementexchange.org. <clears throat> um, sorry, excuse me. And then also, um, in addition, as we're talking about support, we also are still offering our candidate coaching. And so we really encourage you if you want to be able to um, connect with a seasoned professional, a seasonal, seasoned practitioner 
um, to get some last minute coaching, mic interviewing, things like that, um, bounce ideas or get additional feedback from someone. We do have that available um, on our link here. And we've also, we will also send that out to candidates as well, where you can sign up for 20 minute sessions to really talk with that seasoned professional, get that one on one attention. Um, the hours for our coaching is Thursday and Friday, the 26th and 27th, from 1 to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time and 5 to 7 Central Standard Time. And Saturday, they would be available from 1 to 3 um, Central Standard Time as well. Um, just keep in mind that slots are first come, first serve, as our coaches are seasoned professionals or practitioners who um, are making their time available through their workday and things like that. So we have to be cognizant of their time and also cognizant of your time. Um, and so the slots are first come, first serve. Um, and then emails will be sent to you all with Zoom links or Ring Central, which are the platforms that we'll be using to facilitate the coaching. Um, and so that information will be provided to you once you actually go to our link and sign up for a coaching session. That way you know how to connect with that coach. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to add with that, Kirby? Oh, cool. No. And I'm going to bounce this back to Kirby to talk about our brown bag roundtable discussions that we will be offering for candidates throughout this experience. All right. Thanks, Rob. And so, um, as he stated, um, we will be um, engaging with you in many different types of ways. And um, in addition to candidate coaching, we are proud to announce our virtual brown bag roundtable discussions. And so, I um, really encourage folks to um, be able to take a break. Um, have a meal, it's important that you are eating, um, and be in community with peers, other practitioners, um, and being able to engage in conversations about hot topics in student affairs and higher ed. And so on Thursday and Friday of this week at Central Standard Time, we will be um, offering um, two virtual roundtable sessions um, for, to, for you to engage with. So the first one um, tomorrow is asking all them questions, questions to ask during interviews. And so um, really acknowledging that um, throughout your search process, we want to provide space for you to, to talk among each other about different types of questions that um, you should consider asking during your search process. Or um, what does it look like to do informational interviewing or having offline conversations, things like that. And then on Friday, um, at the same time, we will be offering working while insert identity. And so want to acknowledge that we, our lives are not in silos and we are multifaceted um, individuals. And so we carry a number of identities and that impacts the way that we show up in different spaces. And so really wanted to have a real and candid conversation um, about what it's like to work as an individual with X identities. And so for, my, for myself, I identify as a queer black woman uh, from the South side of Chicago. Um, and so, uh, <laughs> South side, yes. And so um, being able to talk about what our experiences are based off of the different identities that we hold. So, and you can be able to um, access those spaces um, through the Zoom links that are actually made available to you on your candidate dashboard, or if you go to the TPE website. And then we also want you to engage with us on social media. And so if you haven't seen in the left-hand corner, lower left-hand corner of um, our presentation, um, you can see uh, our hashtag, so TPE virtual, as well as TPE 2020, um, and the um, information for our various accounts. So feel free to follow us on Facebook, um, follow us on Instagram, as well as Twitter. Um, there will be a variety of different challenges happening um, to get you engaged. We'll be sharing some updates. You'll get to en engage with some committee members, the works. And so if you aren't following us already, make sure that you are doing so on those platforms. And then now we're gonna talk about some quick tips to help you ace TPE virtual. And so um, as Kirsten alluded to in the welcome, we recognize that this is a tumultuous time um, for you all to be engaging in um, a job search, um, while also potentially for those of you all that are still in school, um, finishing classes and just managing the multiple anxieties that um, exist just during this time. And so we want to make sure that um, we give you what you need um, to um, survive and thrive. So first up um, is creating and maintaining the schedule. And so um, as we shared earlier, um, the interviews and our events are happening in Central Standard Time. 
Um, and so we encourage you all to utilize your um, scheduling feature that is on your TPP um, profile. And so um, you can utilize that schedule to keep track of your interviews, um, have breaks that you have there, lunch times, things like that. Um, and just also really encourage you to be aware of the different time zones that do exist. Um, just to, as a note to you, uh, our employers are also encouraged to utilize the schedule. And so they will be the ones that will be adding um, interview times to your schedule with your permission, of course, um, to let you know when you would be interviewing with them. If an employer is not utilizing the um, TPE interviewing um, platform or scheduling platform, um, you are encouraged and are able to add those blocks of time on your schedule um, as needed. And then as I stated before, we encourage you to make sure that you schedule times for breaks. Um, if you know that you want to start your day um, at a certain time, um, making sure that you block that time out. And if you want to end your day at a certain time, making sure that you um, block that time out as well. And I will say this to the death of me, <laughs> please avoid um, having back-to-back -back interviews. Although you are not um, on site and moving from space to space, um, you are still conducting interviews um, wherever you are doing so. Um, and it's not a good practice as well as it doesn't allow you the opportunity to breathe if you are scheduling interviews back to back. And so if you have the opportunity to um, put some breaks in there, please do. Um, and if you do have back to back interviews, make sure that um, you, incur you inform your um, employers, the employers that you have um, a commitment um, either before or after that may make you late. And then now I'm going to turn it over to Rob to talk about some phone and video interview strategies. You're muted, Rob. Oh, I just want to chat a little bit um, about strategies um, for, oh, sorry, I said I was muted. I'm um, talking to you a little bit about um, phone and video interviewing because we know virtually not everyone may be doing video so we want to also incorporate some of that phone as well um, for those who may be doing video um, one of the tips i wanted to share um, first is to make sure that you dress appropriately um, what you think is appropriate as far as business professional um, where are you still doing your interviews you want to still be in that role still be in your professional role um, of caring and being in that full moment. Um, and so whatever you deem to be biz business professional for you um, is what I would encourage that you wear as your attire for your virtual interviews or your video interviews. Um, but also for some people to still be in that role and to still be serious and taking the interviews um, as seriously as possible. Some people still would like to dress appropriately for phone, but then also if you're juggling phone and video for TPE, it may be best for your in your sake of time to just dress appropriately from the beginning of the day and throughout the for their whole day. Um, make sure that you find a quiet place with no distracting sounds. I apologize if y'all hear these dogs outside my door. My neighbors are just start walking by, so I know that this table is not the best place for me if I'm doing interviews because I can get these distracting noises at any time um, because they're literally standing outside my door barking at the moment. <laughs> um, so consider. Um, using headphones while you're on the phone or computer as well. That way the employers can hear you clearly and you can hear them clearly um, while they're asking questions or you may have questions or even when you're providing your responses. Um, make sure that you have that headphone um, if you need to use that to make sure that you're heard clearly. Um, <clears throat> conduct interviews in a space with a good background. And so um, for me, this wall back here, I wouldn't necessarily be in this space. I would probably find something with a little bit more depth or something with something showing my personality similar to Kirby over there um, with that background that she has. That would be um, a perfect example. Uh, and then set your camera at eye length and an arm's length away to engage with employers to kind of still make it that opportunity where you're talking directly to that employer as if you were meeting with them face to face. And also it gives you that opportunity um, to where you're still engaging the full conversation. Um, and it's similar to the in-person experience. And then also make sure you have good lighting so the employees can see you or you're not sitting like right under the light where you kind of get washed out a bit. Um, so making sure that you provide a good video or picture for your employers. Um, and then also utilize um, a cheat sheet. And we say that because, you know, you're using phone or using video 
and you're able to have that cheat sheet with your facts or research that you have about the employer or maybe some answers to common answers that you have to have as talking points, um, that is something that's very good to help you um, with your interviewing or to something that will work best or good for you on um, why you're interviewing to have those cheat sheets and just little quick things jot down to remember that you want to utilize because you want to make sure that you are fully expressing yourself, your ideas and creating the experiences that you want employers to know about you. Um, and then another thing that we really want to talk about is making sure that you that communication is key. Um, so making sure that your respondents correspondence in a timely matter, not necessarily saying you need to sit around your email all day every day, but within about a 24 hour um, turnaround 24 to 48 hours turnaround uh, would be ideal, especially throughout this period of time. Once now the TPE virtual is active employers are going to email throughout the day to reschedule interviews or offer next interviews and things like that. So making sure that you're keeping an eye on your email so that you're responding appropriately. So you're not missing out on any opportunities, but also you're showing that you're prompt and excited about the opportunity and responding to those employers. Um, when you're communicating with employers, it's important to include your identifiers in your email to employers. So making sure that all communication that you have with employers, emails and things like that, or sending your resumes, um, have your candidate ID number on there as well as position numbers so they know what position you're referencing as many of the employers have multiple positions available at TPE or multiple positions that they're interviewing for that way they know exactly which position um, you're communicating with them about um, follow up e follow up with thank you emails so once you've completed your interviews um, and you had time to sit back re reflect and really think about the experience make sure that you're sending thank you emails um, I really appreciate meeting with you all today I really enjoy talking about X, Y, and Z. For me, when I'm interviewing, I always take notes. And so I'm able to gauge and talk about the things that we talked about in my thank you note. I really, like I've always said things like, I really enjoy talking to you today about the diversity initiatives you have on your campus. I look forward to speaking with you about further diversity initiatives, blah, blah, blah. Um, just following up so they know that you're really engaged and know what you've talked about um, in your interview. Um, also, ask questions. Communication is asking questions is one of the biggest pieces. Um, if you're not sure of something or you really have questions and you want to make sure that this is the perfect fit for you, asking questions to those employers is very important because you're interviewing them just as much as they're interviewing you. Um, you also, if you want to know about next steps, are they doing second interviews or when we're phone, um, on campuses, things like that, you can always inquire about those next steps. Um, just keep in mind that some searches take a little bit longer than others, but you can always follow up um, via email um, through, with that as well. And then also while you're interviewing or communicating with employers, make sure that you're being honest and transparent and fully um, representing yourself um, to employers while you're going through this process. Um, so I'll turn it back over to Kirby to talk about keep searching and applying for positions. All righty. So just to be in cognizant of time, I'll make this quick. Um, we want to acknowledge that um, after TPE virtual is done, um, your search doesn't have to be done. Um, we just want to encourage you all to continue applying for positions um, and knowing that you can utilize the placement exchange website um, to figure out what those positions are as the website is up updated daily um, and new jobs are added. Um, all of the time. And so really thinking about um, what you are looking for um, in a job. Um, you can also utilize the filters that are available on the website to um, make your search more um, narrow. So whether it be a particular functional area, region of the country, etc. cetera. Um, and then also don't be afraid to reach out to employers just to simply indicate interest. And so if you see um, a new job posted over these next few days, um, feel free to send them an email and say, look, hello, I saw um, your position posting for X job, I'm interested in, um, in interviewing, um, thank you for your time. And so really want to encourage you all to continue um, doing so, even during this time where things seem stressful, because we do want to acknowledge that there are some institutions that are navigating um, a lot of HR things on their campuses, hiring freezes and such, um, but um, know that the opportunities are still available. There just may be delays here and there. I also want to emphasize self-care um, throughout all of this. And so um, this should not be 
Um, we recognize this is a marathon, it shouldn't be a sprint. <laughs> Um, and so that a lot of this is going to take um, time um, and resources and energy from you, but there are ways that you are able to sustain yourself and we encourage you that you do so. Um, as I stated before, you um, are highly encouraged to schedule breaks um, just so that you can relax, reflect on um, the, your experience, um, eat, etc. You want to make sure that you are nurturing your body and mind. So as I um, alluded to before, eating, you want to stay hydrated, get you some water in you, and then also wash your hands during this time of COVID-19 um, and things along those lines. We want to also encourage you to speak with more self-compassion. And so really think about um, how do you speak positivity in your life? How do you uplift yourself? How do you uplift your others? How do you just let the world know that you are a baddie, that you are the ish, and that, um, <laughs> that you are deserving of all um, great things? And so making sure that you speak um, positivity into your life. And if you don't have a hype song, get you a hype song. And so um, what is the song that pumps you up? Um, what is the song that makes you feel alive? What is the song that's like, you know what, let me hit um, a dance like Kevin did during um, the welcome. Um, listen to a playlist that just gets you going. Um, and also make be sure to check us out on social media because um, we have some playlists that we are looking forward to sharing with you. Um, if you have a friend, a peer who may be going through this experience, or if you have a mentor that you can rely on, be sure to check in with them to see how, um, to let them know how you're doing, to process things with them, um, but then also just to, um, just to be able to ground yourself. And then of course, engage in reflection um, and think about what all of this means for you um, and what you are considering for next steps in your life. So essentially we want to wrap up um, by saying building community. And so although we are navigating being in a virtual space um, at this time, I um, want to let you all know that again, you are not alone um, in this journey. Um, essentially this quote that said this on the screen says, you are not alone in your quest to be who you want and have what you want. And so um, throughout this week, take the time to connect with folks through the solution room stations that we have. Um, with for candidates engage in our roundtable discussions um, as you are having coaching with some folks um, feel free to continue to establish and build those connections because um, this is a community that is all supporting you in whatever way that we can um, especially during these um, unprecedented times and so I want to reiterate this piece that community is important and we hope that you can feel as though you can find a home and community um, through TPE. And so with that, I um, want to officially thank you all for joining us for um, the candidate orientation um, with TPE Virtual. I'm um, on the screen, you can see our contact information there, um, as well as the website um, and email. Um, many thanks to the candidate development team, as well as the TPE um, planning committee for all of their hard work. Um, we, put on, we put in some work for y'all, and so y'all about to get this work this week. Um, and so enjoy your time with TPE Virtual. Don't schedule interviews back to back. Um, eat your meals, stay wash your hands, and have a good day. <laughs>